Hey guys, so I'm just going to make this little tutorial video for anyone who wants to know uh, how to record their DAW if their DAW is not easily recordable. So I use Studio One and it's very difficult to record the audio that actually passes through Studio One uh, regularly. So this is the way I do it with OBS uh, and here it is for any of you trying to figure out how to record a DAW similar to this. So you want to go to this website here, reaper.fm slash replugs, you see? And what you're going to do is download the replugs for 64-bit, assuming you have a computer that actually runs 64-bit, you know? And what this will do is it will download a bunch of plugins that you're going to put into your VST folder. When you install replugs, you're going to install everything, because why not? Your default path might come up as this. It doesn't really matter where as long as you can find it. But for me, it's in local disk, program files, common files, and VST2. And this is where all of the plugins wind up occurring. Here's where all of the restream stuff will be. And this will be super duper important in a moment. Go to Studio One and add wherever the location path is of your restream plugins. For me, it's VST2, but it could be wherever you installed them. Just find the path and add it to the DAW. Now here's some things to do in OBS. You're going to set up an application audio capture. At the time of recording this, it's still a beta feature, but this is exactly what we want. As you can see, I've named mine Studio One. And as you can tell, it is set to the window Studio One pedalboard test. You're going to right click and go down to filters. You're going to add a VST2X plugin and you're going to select Restream Standalone. Now why did I choose number 12 and not just the regular one? Well, I'll show you here. If you open your plugin interface, you will set it to Receive Audio slash MIDI. And the place it's receiving from, of course, is right here. In post, not inserts, post of the mix effects, you are going to add a Restream standalone plugin. Now the reason I selected 12 is because 12 was the only one that showed up. Everything else isn't Restream standalone, but 12 is. So I selected that and it is set to send audio to local broadcast. Now of course, this is a duplicate one, so setting that would cause some problems. This is actually the Restream standalone that I'm using. Local broadcast, so that it can find the place that you're sending to receive. So it sends to local broadcast, so that this end on OBS can receive. You're going to need to repeat this process pretty much every time you open OBS. The filters should load in automatically, but you need to open the plugin interface every single time and you have to keep it open. If you close the plugin interface, this won't work. The plugin interface needs to be open for the signal to uh, transmit on both ends. And this will capture every piece of audio that gets fed through Studio One, be it your guitar sounds, your MIDI program drums, whatever. And just as a side note, the plugin interface inside of Studio One can be closed. That is safe to be closed and just left alone. But the OBS filter, the OBS plugin interface, has to be open at all times, or OBS will not receive the signal that Studio One is sending, and therefore you won't get the sound from the application. Hope this helps. Turn that EQ off.